Welcome to PLP. This is the installation video for the multi-drop bracket side mount. The side mount multi-drop bracket is compatible with up to 20 drop clamps, two per open spool, two per side of double hook mount. Other compatibility includes eight light tension, extended span, or drop cable dead ends with open thimbles. Each spool location on the bracket is rated up to 1,200 pounds for a maximum tensile rating of 9,600 pounds. Attach the bracket to the structure using a 5 8 inch through bolt, 5 8 inch double arming bolt, or a 1 and 1 quarter inch wide banding. Ensure the top arms of the bracket rest on the banding for proper mounting support. In this installation, a double arming bolt will be used to mount the bracket. Begin by attaching a washer and a 5 8 inch nut to the arming bolt. Slide the bolt with the hardware through the hole in the front of the bracket. Feed the bolt through the hole in the structure and rest the bracket to the mounting location. Attach another washer and nut on the back side of the arming bolt. Center the arming bolt and tighten both nuts. Ensure the multi-drop bracket is secure to the structure. For this installation, we will be using the fiber line extended span dead end. Begin by feeding the dead end component through the post of the multi-drop bracket and position it parallel to the cable. Begin with the uppermost spool location for easier installation. Ensure that the dead end is aligned wholly within the saddle of a single segmented spool section. Only one dead end per spool section is allowed. After tensioning the lines to your company's practices, align the cable with the crossover mark of the dead end and begin wrapping the legs over the cable. Wrapping of the legs can be done one by one or both simultaneously. Ensure the gap between both legs is evenly spaced. The side mount multi-drop bracket allows for a wide array of line angles to be formed with just a single piece of hardware. Once installation is complete, ensure all the dead end loops are seated properly in the saddle of the respective spool location. Check that all cables are parallel and free of interference with one another.